What is Canva and how does it work? If you've been asking yourself these questions, well, this video is for you. So stay tuned as I show you what Canva is, how it works and the ways you can use it to create stunning designs for your business. I'll also share a link to an extended free trial of the platform so that you can learn more about Canva for yourself. But before I dive in, just a quick reminder to like this video, subscribe to the Style Factory channel and hit the notifications bell. This helps us out and gives you easy access to all our app reviews and digital marketing advice. OK, so let's dive in with a simple overview of Canva. Canva is an app that lets you design professional visual materials without needing much in the way of graphic design skills. Typically, the tool is used to create social media graphics, simple videos, presentations, slides, posters and other visual assets, and a wide range of customizable templates and royalty-free images is provided to help you do this easily. Unlike traditional graphic design tools like Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator, Canva's learning curve is extremely gentle and, although its feature set is more basic than these sorts of pro solutions, its pricing is considerably lower than them too. In fact, there's an entirely free version of Canva you can use indefinitely. You'll find a link to this in the video description. In essence, the core aim of Canva is to make professional graphic design easy and affordable for everyone. But how does Canva work? Let's take a look at that. Canva can be used in a web browser, via a downloadable mobile app, or using a downloadable desktop app. It gives you three key things to help you create your designs. First, there's templates. These are pre-designed layouts that you can use for a wide range of designs, for example, social media posts, presentations, or banner ads. Then there's elements. These are royalty-free photos, videos and graphics that you can add to your Canva templates. And finally, a drag and drop editor that lets you move elements easily around a template. Additionally, Canva provides controls for editing the typefaces and colors used on a template and it also lets you create custom templates. The idea is that you simply pick a template, drop some content into it, make a few tweaks and then export your design for use online or as a printed item. Now, let's take a look at some of Canva's best features. 1. Its stock photo, video and audio libraries. One of the best things about Canva is the extensive range of royalty-free photos, videos and audio files you get bundled with it. The platform gives you millions of free multimedia items to use in your designs. And when you consider that the cost of just one photo from a stock photography site can actually be higher than an annual subscription to Canva, the value of this becomes very clear. 2. Its wide range of templates. Canva gives you access to over 10,000 pre-designed templates that are extremely varied and professional in appearance. These let you kickstart a design project quickly and easily. 3. The Magic Resize Tool Canva's Magic Resize Tool lets you repurpose existing designs with a click of a button. With this feature, you simply open a project, select what format you'd like to change it to, and Canva will do the rest automatically for you. 4. The Video Editor a lot of people think that Canva only works with static images. However, it's actually got a pretty nifty built-in video editor too. Now, while this isn't going to compete with Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro anytime soon, it nonetheless gives you a great way to create and share simple video content without leaving the Canva environment. 5. It's Background Removal Tools Canva gives you a simple but really effective tool for stripping out the backgrounds of images and videos. This makes it a breeze to create headshot images, corporate videos and YouTube thumbnails. OK, so those are some of our favourite features of Canva. However, it's important to be aware of some of the downsides too. 1. Export options are limited. Unlike most desktop design tools, the output formats for Canva are fairly limited. This can make it hard to start a project in Canva and hand it over to a professional designer for enhancements. 2. You can't back up your projects. 
There's no way to back up your projects in Canva, so if you accidentally delete a design or lose access to your Canva account, you may be in trouble. 3. There's no phone support. If you're someone who likes to get immediate support by talking to a human being via phone or live chat, you should note that only email support is provided for Canva. That said, the product is very easy to use and a wide range of online help materials are available to help you if you get stuck. 4. Canva doesn't work offline. In order to use Canva, you need an internet connection, even if you've installed the desktop app. So, if you find yourself without Wi-Fi, you won't be able to work on or export any of your designs. So, that's our take on the key pros and cons of Canva. Now, let's take a look at how much Canva costs to use and how to get a free trial of the platform. There are three versions of Canva available, Canva Free, Canva Pro, and Canva for Teams. As its name suggests, Canva Free is, well, entirely free. It doesn't give you access to some key features, including the option to define brand rules, the background removal tool, and the magic resize tool, and the options for exporting your designs are more limited. But it still gives you a lot of functionality, and you get access to a lot of royalty-free images on the plan. The next plan to consider is Canva Pro. This is aimed at single users and provides access to all the platform's stock images, video and audio, and the vast majority of the features. A free trial of Canva Pro is available, and this is generally the trial of the platform that we recommend. Normally speaking, this trial lasts just 30 days, but if you check out the video description, you'll find a link to an extended 45-day free trial of Canva Pro. Note that this is available for a limited time only. Finally, there's Canva for Teams. This unlocks a wide range of team collaboration features and lets you define staff roles and user permissions. If you need to let multiple people contribute to your designs, this is the version for you. And that's it, our introduction to Canva. If you'd like to try the platform out, you'll find links to free trials in the video description, along with a link to a full Canva review on the Style Factory website. Before I go, another quick reminder to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notifications bell. And finally, if you have any queries about Canva, do feel free to leave a comment. We read all questions and we'll do our best to help.